Hey guys and welcome to the dentist hub. In today's video, we're gonna discuss another set of previous year questions from oral pathology. Here's a quick view of the list of questions that we're gonna brief out. The torus palatinus, the dense evaginatus, liquefaction foci of Miller, hair on an appearance, cotton wool appearance, target lesions, Nikolsky sign and bruxism. Let's begin with the torus palatinus. It is a slow-growing, flat-based bony protuberance or excrescence occurring on the midline of hard palate. It may be flat or spindle-shaped or nodular or lobular. It is either composed of dense compact bone or shell of compact bone with a center of cancellous bone and is often visible on intraoral palatal radiograph. The tense evaginatus. It is a developmental condition that appears clinically as an accessory cusp or a globule of enamel on the occlusal surface between the buccal and lingual cusps of premolars unilaterally or bilaterally. It is thought to be the proliferation and evagination of an area of the inner enamel epithelium. Liquefaction foci of Miller these are formed by focal coalescence and breakdown of few dentinal tubules. This foci is an ovoid area of destruction parallel to the course of the tubules and is filled with necrotic debris which tends to increase in size by expansion. The hair on end appearance. It is a characteristic feature of chronic hemolysis usually seen in patients with thalassemia and sickle cell anemia. It results from accentuated vertical trabeculae between the inner and outer tables of skull because of excessive bone marrow hypoplasia. The cotton wool appearance it is the radiographic appearance of chronic diffuse sclerosing osteomyelitis or any other resorbing bone pathologies. It is a diffuse patchy sclerosis of bone and it may be extensive and sometimes bilateral. The target lesions. These are seen in erythema multiforme. Erythema multiforme is an acute self-limiting dermatitis characterized by distinct clinical eruptions. The target lesions have concentric ring-like appearance resulting from various shades of erythema. It is also called as the iris or bull's eye. It is most commonly seen on hands, wrists and ankles. The Nikolsky sign the loss of epithelium occasioned by rubbing apparently unaffected skin. In simple words, the top layers of skin slip away from the lower layers when rubbed. It is a characteristic feature of pemphigus and is caused by perivascular edema which disrupts the dermal epidermal junction. Bruxism It is the commonest sleep disorders. It is the habitual grinding or clenching of teeth either during sleep or as an unconscious habit during working hours. It may lead to severe wearing and attrition of teeth and produces sensitivity. So that's for today. See you in the next video with another set of important questions. Until then, like, share and subscribe to the Dentist Hub and stay tuned for more updates.